Welcome to Goblin Town. I am not going to say it again, you Goblin Swain. Get out of that gate and right into my open arms. Well, my open arms that are clutching some very important levers here because our catapult crews are ready to make use of their machines. It's gonna be lovely. Welcome to the Casa Doom campaign. We mean to proceed with great enthusiasm. And the thing is, we also have friends coming in from the other side, but oh my goodness, look at what's in their way. Well, like, can they pass through here? I guess they... Mm, no, they can't. They can't. They can't. So if they're going to be of any help, these uh, lovely guys under Gimli, um, they will need to cross the entire map. They will circumvent, needs be, the entire freaking map. Unless they can break down the gate over here, which maybe they can. Anyway, we're going to uh, get them over here and see if they can do something like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is, yeah, it's interesting. The gates are differently laid out like this. Hmm. Anyhow. Uh, so we're going to do that and uh, we're going to see when they get there. Until then, though. Looks like we have a date with destiny over here. She's a beauty, isn't she? Yes, she is. Um, you know what? Can we fire up on that gate? That would be great. Let's just see if that works. Oh, it seems that the goblins might actually move toward us. Maybe. Though it is not impossible that the presence of our allies is confusing them a little bit. The game is, um, struggling to render all that's going on it seems or at least struggling to put make all the decisions happen you see the the movement is uh, jerky and not just because of frame rate issues no 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 we're dealing with you know units that stop and start seemingly and i think that's the real cpu drain at the moment it's the fact that the game is sort of struggling to uh, find its footing with uh, where to go and why but we've got a magnificent little army here. Ah! Okay. And some of our projectiles are indeed hitting the gate. Though certainly not all of them. I wonder, can we set these guys up a tiny bit closer to the center? That might help them. Oh, yeah, they come. Give him a few good blows. You don't have to wait that long, my friends. The enemy is coming right at you. Well. There's enough for everybody. Okay. When can the archers start shooting? Uh, should be right about soon. Ooh, good one, dear catapult. Good one. Azog's defilers are coming in. They're going to be met with shield guards as well. A wonderful little defense. I think it's time that we unleash the grape shot upon these people. Oh no, we've lost a... Oh no, we've accidentally shot one of our... Mm, okay. Uh, sorry guys. Uh, <laughs> we, we can't risk you shooting any more of our catapult crews. Yeah, but because you see, that is true value. Alright, 
And the Bowser crew, yeah, you can just keep shooting at that gate, actually. Um... Because it'll invariably hit quite a lot of goblins. Even with it being open like that. Looking good, looking good. I feel like we have a good division of uh, duties here. She is a beauty. Uh, let's see. Hammer guard, stand ready. Okay, how's Gimla doing? Yeah, he's just making his long, lonesome way. Oh, what's this? Well, if this isn't interesting, I do not know what is. The enemy general is paying us a visit. Hmm. Well, <laughs> who am I to argue with that? Okay. Um, at this point, I think we want to focus on getting that particular group of goblins cared for with uh, some nice mortar shots. They seem to have closed the gate. Interesting. Okay, they're sort of running away. Snagger stalkers, they're no match for our dear friends. And since the catapults are firing some very different shots now, some very different arcs, he says, he thinks. Ha ha! Yes, just like that. Then um, we won't see any friendly fire casualties. He thinks. Alright. Central crew, you're done. Let's get you guys bit more centralized. Yes, these mortar shots are wonderful, at least when they land. Let's aim for the halberdiers, shall we? Yeah, certainly not these snagger. Eh? They're not staying taller than pretty much anything on the field. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, how are we doing over here? Has the enemy withdrawn? No. They're milling about over there. Maybe we should run to meet them. We'll bring a Bowser crew over there. So, yeah, keep aiming for the gate, please. Okay, we're going to try something a bit different now because getting that gate down is actually um, incredibly important. So we'll work on that one at the moment. Our melee forces should still be safe from this particular treatment. And we're getting to the point where our forces present can take care of these, I would say. And our projectiles will kill another couple of goblins along the way. Okay, now we're doing over here. Our shield guard are storming ahead. Hmm. 
I'd actually entrust this to a zenith guard before anything else. And it seems that they're coming toward us, so we can just uh, have a little... We, we can do it in a leisurely stroll. Ah, we have breached our enemy's walls. Ah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Um, not that this should be... Ooh, that's interesting. Now they seem to come toward us. Uh -huh. Okay, let's give him a few extra shots of the good stuff, eh? Hmm? Very nice. Why are you stopping? What? I thought you were coming out to meet Gimli. Where are you, where are you going? <laughs> well, I've never. Okay. Um. So. We're going to march the catapults a little bit closer. And then they're going to start directing some mortar shots at that crowd over there. I think that would be very good. Uh, you guys can sort of keep on firing. Whether to do the standard shots or the mortar shots, I'm not sure. But now we're going to try the mortar shots. See what that, where that gets us. With the last few that we have. Oh yes, that's good. A lovely little shot there. A lovely little grape shot. Oh, we can... Hmm. I mean, the Ballister's also doing quite well. Ah, the mortar shot didn't really land. Oh well. Oh well. Alright. Over here on the gate side. Yeah, they're still just struggling with where to go. They just, they seem to not know. So, it'll be the job of these shield guards. To get over there. The Gimli, it'll just follow up. Okay. How are we doing on ammunition? We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're whittling the enemy down to their final view. Okay, we should get a little closer, I think, because we are trying to hit a pretty narrow point. And over here. Ah, they're running back. Back inside. Okay. Fair enough. Let's get the archers in as well. Right, from here, you should have a pretty clear shot. You see? It does sort of what we wanted to do. We'll just abuse the last bit of our ammunition. And then we'll go in for the melee. Okay, how are we doing here? Shield guard? Get him. The rest, you'll follow along. Ballister crew, you stand ready just in case they run in behind the gate and we have to break it down. Alright, catapult's done. Catapult's done. Team 5. I want you all to storm that assembly of the goblins over there. Team 4, you're also fresh again, so give it a go. Alright, then we form up our archers. Uh, our aim will be to have them here. But we'll take our sweet time. Our Catapult crew, just get away. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. So now's the time where we force the enemy back one 
bloody inch at a time. Alright, how are we doing over here? Oh, we're battling their leader. Duking it out with their Duke of Death or whatever. Yeah. Or whatever. He doesn't matter. Gimli's got this. I mean, he's a bit tired and inexperienced. I mean, the War of the Ring hasn't happened yet, so... Yeah, but, but anyway. He'll, he'll do well, he'll do well. Your firing arcs will be terrible, but uh, do uh, put a few arrows in those wargs over there. So they don't do too much damage. Things will improve as we push them further and further inward. Alright. The Seneth Guard are indeed pulling their weight in a wonderful way. Let's just get them in there. Battle at last! Team 3, you can pause your shooting. The frame rate has improved, graciously. Shield bearers, uh, why don't you also just uh, give them a little go. That's the most important thing we can do here with Gimli, is to actually kill their leader, so that they don't fight on any longer. If he dies, they all flee, basically, so that is a priority. They're already falling behind morale-wise. This time we're gonna take this place. Yes. By our fearless warriors. Attack while his men mourn their loss. Exactly. It's time for advancing. Oh, there's a single skirmisher left. Oh. Come on. He's not gonna stop us. All right then, good work, Gimli. Um, yeah, let's just uh, shoot down the gate. Uh, get a bit closer. Oh, we got him! Goodness grief, we have suffered a bit to get this far, but we got there in the end. And look at that, catapult 674. 822 for the other. Yeah, they are such valuable units, it simply cannot be overstated how good they are. Um, especially when attacking a settlement like this with so many choke points available to you. It's just brilliant. And we managed to avoid uh, too many friendly fire casualties, which pleases me quite a bit. Do we heal the one guy from the catapult? We did, so they're back to four people again. Yay! Four catapulteers, meaning two catapults. That's the most w wonderful thing and the most important detail of the entire aftermath of the battle. Welcome to Goblin Town! So, they are leaderless and without their capital. And uh, we're gonna sack the place. Oh! Alright, no more goblins then. I'm gonna stick you, my king! Um, Mushtaq, what do you have? Okay. Okay, you've got quite a lot. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Well, well. We'll just, um, put Gimli in charge. And... 
Hmm. Well, we already have mines here, which is good. That's wonderful. Walk breeder. Goodbye. Crawls hall. Okay. And we could theoretically get a spy, but we don't really have capacity. Good thing that we have extra spies in Thurnville and a very satisfactory conver converted population, so. Into Goblin Town you go! My king. My king. I, my liege. Leading the men with honor, sire. Oh, he won! Good job! I'd say Biffa has, no, has now been redeemed. Yeah, this saves up 121 <laughs> coins. Not that they matter to any great degree, but, you know, every little bit helps. So, we have dealt with the goblins once and for all. And we can now turn our attentions firmly toward Dunland. And the dealing that need doing down here. My king. For now though, I think we're looking I okay. Be Oin Larach will be training, Hinoin is doing okay, Bal and Vin, yeah. So we of course lost quite a substantial army down here at our food. But momentum is not on Dunland's side. They may try to attack us, but these are attacks that we can repulse. The only, th you know, thorn in our yogurt, so to speak, is that Tharbalin has been taken. And of course, we need to do something about it. Good news is, we can and we will. I I with, all the, with all the troops available to us here, we can make wonders happen. Ooh, the first legion is coming as well. Aye, sir. So we'll have Aye. two first legion troops. We'll have Aye. guardians of Kazadum, reclaimers. I mean, it's just a grand, old, beautiful time. I can. So, shall we leave it at that? Yeah, that seems reasonable. It seems reasonable. It seems reasonable. So, yeah. And it's good to see that the elves are doing decently, right? Yeah, they've uh, reached over and taken Achnur Yon, putting pressure, pressure on uh, their uh, hated enemies over here in Dol Guldur. Our taking care of the goblins has given our friends options. Uh, let's turn to turn 92. Alright then, Alien comes to visit our little fort. Welcome, sir. We will um, burn quite a lot of your Dunlending friends today. So come at us, come. Welcome to the battlefield. The thing about this is, since they have means of bringing down our walls, with their little bursters, um, even though it's not 100% certain that they actually have the capacity to bring down a section of wall, we're going to proceed as if they actually can. We're going to withdraw our dear dwarves from their usual positions and uh, bring them forth. In a manner of which Balin would be proud. I expect to see some projectiles coming from those ballisters any moment now. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, they'll get through the wall, no trouble. 
And these towers are basically non-functional. At least if I remember right. So come, dun dun, come, 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 come. I've been waiting for you. We meet again at last. What? Okay, you're not going to get through the walls if you just arbitrarily knock them down to 84% and call up for lunch. That's not going to work, Dunland. I don't know if you've ever executed a siege before, but... Uh, oh, God. Okay. Um, well, if that's what their plan is... Hmm... You know what? Then we are going to go onto the walls. And yeah, indeed, the towers do nothing at all. Our enemies' ladders have reached our walls. It is time for but uh, meeting them straight on the walls here, like this, is a bit of an advantage for us. Let Should allow us to inflict um, disproportionate casualties upon them. This one, I'm not going to take that one. We're just going to wait for them to break down the gate, and then we're going to fire upon them. Like the bastards they are. Oh Lord, the enemy are battering down the gates. Unless we can, of course, hit that tower. Though I think that is not going to yield great results. Ah, oh, you know, I stand corrected. That was good. All right, uh, long spears then. Let's uh, bring them down. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defense, or all is lost. All right, how are we doing over here? We're fighting some berserkers. Okay, good, good, good. We'll keep our archers from shooting just now, because they're not too accurate in this kind of scenario. We want them to fan out a bit more over here and be in this general area like a lovely little Dunlending sausage. And that is when we will unleash our arrows upon them. Until then, having the baluster aimed squarely at the gate is just all we want. That's what we want to do. A volley, please! Oh, Brennan's guard, yes. Okay, so now, archers, that's... This is your moment. Uh, long spears, particularly. The front-facing ones. How are we doing over here? Fighting off the berserkers. And more berserkers. Two units of berserkers tied up by one group of volunteers. You know what? I'm going to call that a win. Because, one, we don't want them to face off against our hammer guards because that's where they would be cost-effective cost against us and not the other way around. Oh, dear. Let's see. Ah. Huh. Okay, okay, Bren's guard is going back here, so we're going to keep focusing on them. I mean, I think we're, we're giving this a very spirited effort. We're keeping the enemy on their toes. Little toesy woesies. Where are these long spears going? Oh, they're going this way. And our travelers, no, sorry, our volunteers have been uh, out smashed. Let's see if we can shoot these long spears down. Are, try are they trying to flank us like that? Are they going for the balusters or what are they going for? Oh no, they're going over there to fight our hammer guard. Okay, well that's not too bright of them actually. How about these guys? Oh, okay. 
They're flanking us for sure, so let's bring it in. Bring it in, bring it over. I think our hammer guards will be able to take these okay. So far, so good. We're definitely making them pay. We might even destroy half their army today. Oh, are you shooting in a good direction? Meh. I want those to be a target if you can, but... Um But that seems to be uh, infeasible. You know what, could you uh, shoot at those? Just curious, let's just see what happens. No, too close, too close. Okay, our hammer guards are still holding up like champs. If you can just keep pummeling their general, I mean, if he dies, the entire army might just fall apart. Not incredibly likely, but likely enough to where I'm going to give it a try. And of course, getting another general up there as another family member would be a good outcome. That, you know, that would make this uh, battle very much worthwhile for our, from our perspective. But seems almost certain. No? You're not going to do it? Okay. In that case, just keep hitting them. Fire things, come on. Fire things, come on. Fire things. Okay, our hammer guard are beginning to suffer now. They've been too thoroughly outnumbered. Thrown his life away, and perhaps our chances of victory with it. Only half the enemy force remains. Ooh, they're wavering. When the hammer guard wavers, that's when you know shit is going down. But the Ballister crew makes a lovely spirited last effort at swinging a few numbers in our favour. We have lost half our men. Serve so they. Yeah, okay. Our troops are running. Probably not helped by the fact that they're also getting bombarded by uh, our ballisters, but yeah. what you gonna do? Progress needs victims sometimes. And now we hold them up one last time. Okay, and uh, the fun time's over. At this point, we've de definitely lost. But if they lose half their army to this, that's still pretty good. For a little freely held garrison and a tiny fort without any great defensive capabilities, I'm going to say that's a win. The only thing I'm miffed about is the fact that this bloody guy is still there. We managed to kill almost his entire bodyguard, but not him. RNGesus was on his side today. Changes in the course of battle. For yeah, there they go with their little hammers. Snatch victory from us like thieves in the night. We will not be so lucky next time. Wow, that's a lot of healing, actually. It's like <laughs> half their losses. Our oh, ballister, it did so much, and apparently it meant so little. Oh well. Oh, and uh, Angmar want to trade with us. Does that make you a trader? Or a traitor? Hmm. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You, we're going to trade, and you're going to give me a regular tribute of 100 gold for 13 turns. 
Surely this is good fortune. Oh, they're not taking it. Okay. Map information? This proposal is of little interest. Okay, yeah, I just want to know where you live. We cannot thank you enough for it until we meet again. So apparently they have quite a lot of land. Bastards they are. Oh well. We'll make back uh, the money from trading. That's fine. And uh, if we make them grateful, that means they won't attack us for a little while. Aye. Move out. Aye, sir. Overall, Onward. life is good. Oh, and Aye. here, the first legion Aye. is arriving. Onward. Good. Very, very good. Very, very good. And we have two catapults as well. You can go to Sag Cala for your training. Thank you. Right, Biffer. Go and manage Goblin Town, eh? Uh, then... We have this little detail of a goblin over here. Gimli, your baptism fire is today. Goody, goody. Um, let's retrain these. Ah, uh, yes. Casa de West. You know, you can also do with some more roads, I think. It will help. Economically speaking. Hmm. Would be very useful. Although, we should perhaps bring Drar in, in there. Because, I mean, all respect to Lorne. But... He does not quite have the... Midas touch of construction this, that uh, Darin has got. I wonder if they're related. I guess they are, because they're in the family together. But how... How related are they, really? So, Darin, where do we have him? Uh, that's Lorne. Son of Barlin and Darlin. Groin Tarkun He's not even in the family as far as I can see. Nope. Darlin is just a wonderful technocrat. <laughs> okay, so let's get him in here and plan some roads. You see that? Just dropped by 50%. A beautiful outcome. And then we just put him back. In Casa Dum proper. Austin Athiel has some roads. Alright, alright. All roads lead to, well, somewhere else, I suppose. But uh, still, Austin Athiel has some, and that's pretty good. Um. We want the heavy armor here, actually. And Anon and Orot needs. Uh, needs to be a, a training hub and it needs the armor to go with it Hi. so yeah the first legion and uh, the catapults and all that it's it's looking good it's turning out well and then we can gather a few bits and bobs from the most experienced low levels here to some I of the won. less experienced but uh, very good mid-range troops. Plenty have done landings around here too. Hmm, that's interesting. But Oin Larach will not fall easily. Aye, sir. At your service. On my way. It will be oh, there we have him. Defeating you. Uh, Lian. So it'll be an honor defeating me, you say? On the field of battle. It will be an honor defeating you. You don't have that much left. 
You've got a lot of berserkers. Some raiders. Some long spears. Bad. That is not terrifying. We could just go out with all of these and just smack him. Right, so we go like this. We go like this. Smack him back. And we get a general. And Gula will smash this fort. How's that? Well, I say that's pretty good. Um, and then we can send these volunteers back into the field. Lovely. And next turn, the others will go back to Byrig. Oh, the guard barracks is coming to Hanoin and that. Hanoin. 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 And the dragon slayers. Balan's dragon slayers will be retrained. This is good news. And then oh, we're upgrading into a proper dwarven fortress. We will show those the lendings how to wield stone. Okay. Um. <laughs> I guess we should uh, put a few folks from Torrenville into the fort. Perhaps these ones. Although they can't get. They're out of movement points. They can do these those. Lovely. Um, Dory. You have a bunch of spies in there. Do you need them? Not really. So on they can go. To projects new. At your service. Yeah, let's just send them both to Goblin Town. Something to investigate. And um, mm, hello, Arduinoim. Yeah. So the council still wants us to take this village, though it may now have become a town, and thus. Slightly more valuable. We'll get to it. To arms, everybody! Fror is under attack, and Ginar is uh, coming to assist, of course. King Freka has come, and King Freka comes with cavalry, so actually he will be um, pretty easily handled, hopefully. He might have a special ability, though. A defensive stance, apparently. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, well, well, I hope he can have a defensive stance effective enough to break the hammer guard because they're coming at him with a mighty big hammer. And we'll see how well his morale holds up. Because the rest of his army is comprised of relatively inexperienced troops, and so they will break. At least, that's the hope. My friends, our task today. Is a heavy one, but one that we embrace with a grateful spirit, a gracious demeanor. Our foes, the Dunlendings, are surrounding us. From two different sides comes their attack. And we will have to strike quickly and move quickly in order to repulse them properly. Now, I am actually not convinced that a single Bannister crew can bring down the walls of a stronghold because they have been buffed beyond belief in this game. So, at the moment, we are proceeding as if uh, their ram will be the main engine of our demise. And that the Bannister crews are essentially just going to be wasting their time firing upon a wall that will not budge. But in the, on the off chance that they actually manage to break something down, we do have a welcoming party. 
And uh, over here we have a welcoming party as well. They just need to be coming in from the because they've been out of town, you see. And um Yeah. Had we had cavalry, we would just have sent them out and smashed this particular crew. No problem. But uh, since we don't have cavalry because we are dwarves, uh, we will have to take them on a bit more um with a bit more, shall we say, um a direct intervention is definite. Oh, they're going for the gate. Well, they could actually bring that one down. Okay. But that gives us a pretty good focal point. No, not that way. Get in there. You idiots. Okay, how are we doing over here? They are going for the wall. The wall. And at this rate, they are not getting through it. Indeed, we will be very safe. Come in, my friends. Come in. Come this way. So actually, I, I find it decently unlikely that they will manage to break down that gate. Because they don't seem as accurate with it as they would need to be. You see? Most of our shots aren't actually landing. And it proves to be exactly the problem you'd think it would. Now they're trying to get in this gate because they can actually get in. But uh, what do they do now? Ah, <laughs> you can see the game just confused them and now their confusion is causing the game to lag. It's all in decision making process. <laughs> if it can't decide on what to do, they fail to do anything at all. Alright, so that means everybody will be entering from this particular location. With the possible exception of these ones over here. So, uh, volunteers, you'll be needed to repel some bandits. Not exactly a worthy task, but it's one that you must take to with greater plumb, regardless. Yeah, you are under attack, you bandits. What are you going to do about it? The enemy have ladders on the walls. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Nothing stands taller than the might of the dwarves. Send about general, I guess. Though, I mean, even if they were to get onto the wall, that would be the most cost effective to place to the deal with them, of course, the but. Ram has the gates. Even with that, they're not going to be successful if they get down onto the ground and just meet four angry units of dwarves. Hello, bandits. And there he is, our chief enemy for today, and this Frickelinger Harriers. We're ready to ambush him as he comes in. The enemy have the walls. Look to our Over here, the towers have actually done a very good job so far. Just, just taking them out one by one. Well, our troops can just rest up and uh, prepare for battle. It's very nice. Okay. The cell swords will give us a few worries up here, but 
Our volunteers are numerous and have to deal with them, I'm sure. Time for the Harriers to meet a harrying foe. Sentries, come this way. You'll be wasted over there. The volunteers have got this, and then some. Glory to the Senate Guard. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we're not getting to the general himself, the leader of Dunland, anytime soon. Because he's just hanging out over here, allowing his troops to die on his behalf. Well, I suppose that is what a king does, nominally speaking. So. And the volunteers are doing exceptionally well. Just hacking them down one at a time as they come landing down. And now there's just this one dude left. Oh, and he takes the plunge. And he immediately gets clobbered by all the dwarves around him. What a lovely day. Ah, oh, but he actually makes a spirited effort. He nails a dwarf to the floor and asks for more. And then he gets it. Immediately. He's dead. Okay. The Legion are proving themselves utterly, utterly unmashable. I think it's time for the volunteers to get down there and cut them off. Over here? Mm, ooh! They are coming! So we go onto the walls. Just one at a time, it's okay. Fascinating. Yeah, of course, the first army is only half the battle. And now the other ones are coming. Stab those fishermen. Bring them to heal.
the battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings. Oh, two long spears have broken through our lines. They are heading for the square, but uh, they will find a little surprise along the way. Let's see how they take it. My instinct would be not well. How's our dear general doing? Yeah, a little bloodied, a little bloodied, but um, he's doing better than most of the enemies that he's facing, that's for sure. And he's sort of out of harm's way. I think I can tolerate this. Only half the enemy. The enemy lies dead, slain by our fearless warriors. Attack while his men mourn their loss. King Frekar is gone. Uh, lovely. And over here. It's just a bunch of Dunlending spearmen and raiders running into their deaths. They don't like it. They just run away, away. Something about the n news of their dead king has probably disheartened them a tiny tad. So, what's going on over here? Ah, yes. Okay, okay. We have uh, some more of these hill riders to deal with. I think our most esteemed sentries can uh, give it a go. Over here. Ah, we're moving onto the walls and pressuring them where it hurts. No, you cannot mash your way through a wall of dwarves. Dundant, it is folly. Oh my god, it's a massacre. And it seems that they're figuring that out at the moment. Oh, they're even throwing themselves to their deaths now. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. It's like they're just all committing suicide. I don't want this anymore. I can't take it. Okay. Um, and here, battle the crew fleeing. Good. Cavalry. Smashed. Uh, presumably, yes. All right, so what still remains? Of course. There's probably a bats to crew somewhere around here. <sighs> now we have to trudge all the way across the map to get them. South guard, that's going to be you. You're closest. Not that this by any means means close. But, you know, you can practically see each other, so that's something. Very safe, very safe. They got the game down to 23. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna march toward them until they don't like it anymore. 
And the towers took a few, so that's good. It's always nice to see them do their part of the bargain. Um. Time to inflate the score of our dear general by killing the most defenseless unit on the field. Roar! Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. <laughs> Just hacking that general to pieces. The enemy general lies dead. Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. There we go. The enemy army flees the field. After them, and they're gone. The down. <laughs> Excellent. We won. This is a clear victory. Ah, and after all that they healed, they, our general only gained one experience point. But I mean, took out 253 enemies. That's pretty good for th like a 30 unit. All right then, uh, excellent. And Kazad volunteers doing well. Deep in God, Hammer God. I mean, it's what you'd expect, isn't it? Experience all around, and two Dunlending armies destroyed. Goodbye, Dunland. You have been rebuffed. Repulsed, I think is a proper term actually. Yeah, you have been repulsed from out of orders. And your leader is dead. So hooray. And Gimna gets married with Verdante. That that sounds suspiciously Italian. Um Kaz Balandon gets a, an Axmas Guild and Erebor's been besieged. Oh dear. Happy I will be to see the Miners' Union completed. Come and get me, so how will the enemy come back from this? Time will tell. Time will tell. Ah, we're going to go for the three experience point ones here. And we're going to build a practice range. And then upgrade that into an archer range. And we need a great Midas Hall as well. Reducing corruption, allowing for good buildings, all the stuff of legends. Alright, uh, town mode to upgrade, Fennel. Hmm. Okay, we'll take the wall first. Heavy armor here, please. Oh, or maybe we should get a pub, actually. Yeah, let's get a pub. Let's get a pub. So we can uh, get the final few percentage points in. And, uh, Phenom, you got your practice range, which is good. You don't need any archers at the moment, though. Verdante. <laughs> Verdante. Okay. Uh, dim. Yeah, not much new under the sun here or there. No. We can get a legion deep in garden and on and all out, and that is wonderful. And speaking of wonderful, I think this army is ready to move. And it moves for Dar Balin. The travelers will come in and pick up the slack. Or maybe we'll just, you know, we'll send him the Deeping Guard. 
uh, retrain them, and then boom, we have a new garrison there. Hi Elrond. Yeah, yeah, we've taken care of the goblins, so you can just go and, I don't know, smack the daylights out of Angmar or whatever you want to do. You know, I'm, I'm not judging. I'm not going to disparage you for how you spend your free time. You're an elf, you have plenty of it. We mere mortals, we of course are a bit more limited. My king. So now we're only enemies of Gundabad and those pesky, pesky Dunlendings. But Turinville will soon be quite a formidable little defensive point. Because the large town upgrade for dwarves is nice. Um, yeah, and these, I think these three units here will be a nice addition to the army passing through under Tarkun. Then we have this little matter. And this one. Ray training for everybody. Um. <laughs> the big question now is, when shall Balin have fun with Bile? I think oh, it's when when this stronghold upgrade is finished. By then, we should have enough cultural pole to get him out of there. Naskal returned to Dol Guldur. Well, just makes us hope that the elves will take care of that place pretty soon. And oh my lord, we have snow walks in Gun in uh, Erebor. We have snow walks in Erebor. So we now have a commitment to our kin. Our commitment involves the slaying of Uktak and uh, as well as others. Smack, doodly do. A proud victory indeed. A little preemptive thrashing of orcs. What do we have here? We, we could uh, save a little bit by plopping some of these guys in meaningful locations. Not the ballisters, but uh, yeah, these. Yeah, good. Boom. The Benin's under siege. Ooh. Yeah, Mordor's doing pretty well apparently. Because of Doom. Ooh. The Calamers and Guardians. Ooh, gold for some Guardians. Well, I suppose I did. So uh, that kind of has its feast hall, and it's lovely. Shall we get great roads just to cement that? Does help a bit with the economy. We can get the archer range, heavy armor, and then we proceed with all the rest of the good stuff. And now let's get some breeze tenters. Bailig. Hmm. Boom. Lovely. Aye. Aye, sire. Aye. My king. Baradvin is now a lovely stronghold. And we have a strong cultural hold over this place, so that's good. So we'll build the Stoneworkers Guild House, and then we'll be ready to pump out uh, barracks, buildings, and practice ranges, and. Oh yes, oh, we do want some siege weapons in this place, don't we? Yes, we do. Um, and Oinlara has had some work done. 
Um, what are all these good landings doing here? I will only address you in battle. Let us remove them. One at a time. We'll make a night attack on Blaze. Here we go back. Um, what do we want, culturally speaking? Well, yeah, let's just build a bit of this, a bit of that. I, I will only address you in battle. Brunost can upgrade. Well, 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 who are we to uh, deny them that particular opportunity? Yeah. And Tarkun? Yeah, just keep going that way. Keep going that way. If we have to smash them on a bridge, then that's just all the better. <laughs> you know what? Let's just test out our uh, dear Gula. Along with our uh, dear Fro. Smash! Okay, they lost 154. You know what? That's 154 that they won't get back. I will only address you in battle. Okay then, well come and address me in battle. Your will, my lord. Aye. Aye. Forward. Aye, lord. Put these all these together. A wonderful little force. Okay, uh, what else? Economy growing, hooray! Smack up Erden, yeah. Smack a doo there. Off he goes, the unoinnihilator has regained his composure. Anything else that needs addressing at this very moment? I, my liege. We, march we can build a watchtower here. I, no Just have a permanent uh, eye I in the sky, as it were. I would fight for your so we can see Bearn smash King Magok, Mazok up and down the coast of the Anduin. Or oh, the shore of the Anduin. It's not a coast because it's not, you know, really leading up to an ocean. Anywho, anywho, technical, practical. Fancy schmancy details aside. I think we can have one more turn before we end this. Successful episode, I would say. Very much so. Thorin's halls are assaulted. Oh my. This, I mean, considering where the borders of the Angmarum go, uh, this might actually be them. Or maybe it is the High Elves. Either way, our dwarven fellows appear, apparently, in a bit of a bind. Hmm. More catapults. That's what that calls for. And Bronost getting its guard barracks, of course. Lovely. Um. What else? Yeah, we're building that mining complex. Yippee doopee doo. Do we want to recruit these beast hunters? Ah, we do, don't we? We do. We really do. And Thorinville. Stone workers guild house, please. And then we'll get all up on the catapults. You know what? This is the Oak Fort. It gives me an idea. A dumb idea, to be fair, but it was an idea. <laughs> Alright, um. 
Goblin Town. Hmm. So, with your guild house in there, let's start out building balusters and things like that. That's the quickest road to superpower status, I think. More catapults for us. Okay, okay. Um, ooh, catapults. Yes, please. Give me those catapults. My king. And uh, then we can uh, send uh, these lovely lads out to get Ronan once again. Ha ha! Oh. Okay, okay. Well, well, we will heal. He will not. And then, most importantly, Tarkun is marching. On the march and on the mend, coming on around the bend, we have gone for Thar Barin. Um, and it's going to be pretty brutal, I think. And here we have troops that could do with a bit of uh, budget cut, essentially. It's a bit mean of us if we just take away their pay, but it's for the greater good, trust me. And now the retraining is beginning to come to Hinoin. <laughs> there will be nothing to stop us. And Balin Vin. Yes, yes. We can't retrain laborers yet. We'll get there, though. We'll get there. Oh dear. Who has plundered this place? It's the High Elves. Oh. The High Elves are getting, getting their game on this one. So. It's pretty impressive. Pretty nice. And now good armor is coming to anyone in our lord. And ooh, there's nothing upgradable. We'll have that right away. And with Erui's uh, latest advancements. I think we are in a very, very good position to build balusters. Yes. Catapults, yes. And uh, a miners union? Oh yes. Oh yes. Ah, we need steel mongers as well. But we have that. We have the steel mongers. Or the equivalent thereof, at least. Pub here. Turns to a feast hall. And then after that... Greater Miners Hall. I will 
only address you. Hello, Douglas. Oh, God. That was the most inefficient way to go about it, Balin. You wandered through an entire forest. Alright. Um. Oh, well. Can't be helped, can't be helped. Aye, Lord. Shall we have those 13 route trains? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I want them to be fully operational. In whatever situation we might encounter. And then Tarkun. Mashbram is in your way. But he won't pay forever. And then oh, we're gonna hope that this Ronan just hangs around. Gula. Go to Byrig. Keep honing your skills as an administrator. And uh, then we shall send a few lovely boys down to this fort. Well done, lads. We've won. Because more will be trained here in Byrig, and uh, obviously, we want to have accommodation for those people. This had best be worth oh, you want to see Spy now? Well, you can have it if. What do you say? I must say, we are not convinced. That cheap? You guys must be desperate. I guess they see, you know, they've seen the Tarkun's army and they're just seeing the writing on the wall. But you know, how could you refuse this generous offer? But I think we can use it even, but it's a better use. Your reasonableness makes me think that we should simply push for getting bile instead. For nothing but ceasefire, and we might even get some money with that deal. And then, yeah, but we'll do that after having thwarted whatever troops they have here on the bridge. But that'll be for next episode. For now, I hope you will join me in uh, letting all the world know that we should be kind to ourselves, be good to one another, and then... I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.